Thanks for coming this morning. I think the last shuttle has arrived. It's great to see so many of you here this morning. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the, the University of California right now is experiencing a strike of graduate student researchers, postdocs, and researchers. So that's the union line you see out there, just so you're aware. Um, as management, I say nothing. So I'm Lars Biltzen, the director here at KITP. I really want to welcome all of you to the Institute. And most importantly, I always like to ask for how many of you is this your first time at the Institute, either program or conference? Raise your hand high. Yeah, great. So we always tell, uh, the person that just came in raised his hand, thank you. Uh, we always tell our funding agency, the National Science Foundation, that half of the people every year are new. So it's good to see that that remains the case. Um, and so I, I really want to uh, first start by thanking the coordinators. So this conference is part of a long program. And the coordinators of the program are Boris Gansicki, Matthias Schreiber, Ken Shen, and Alejandra. So let's thank all of them. There's not, yeah, all of them for their work. So you may ask, how do these programs happen? Uh, it's a long process that we encourage the community, uh, international community, to send us ideas, pre-proposals. Uh, in early November, so sort of the deadline was a couple weeks back, uh, that we then work with our advisory board to develop into programs, these long events that many of you are also here for. Uh, that process is indeed a development process, and one I would encourage you to, to uh, have a conversation with the coordinators who, of course, been through it successfully, because here they are, and here you are. Uh, and myself, I'll be a little scarcer this week than normal, because our renewal grant to the National Science Foundation is eight days away. Um, so I will not be as present here as I'd love to be. Um, I'm just going to argue the case that we should keep the Institute funded. Um, but I, I will be at some of the dinners and lunches. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Mark Bowick is Mark. Mark's here. Mark Bowick is deputy director. Mark, raise your hand again. Uh, Mark does uh, soft kinetic matter. He's, this is not his field. But again, uh, please avail yourself of Mark. And then I'm seeing if there's other former board members here. Not seeing anyone. So I really do think of programs. We are we know what we're doing through summer of 24. So the next period is 24-25. Uh, we obviously need to take delays between doing the same thing, um, but it's just important to know that that's uh, how we decide what to do here. Uh, okay, to the conference. So I first really want to thank our amazing staff who make all these things happen. So Claudia is our conference coordinator. Thank you, Claudia. If you're bringing someone to dinner that we don't know about, please let Claudia know so she can collect the dinner fee and add to the headcount. And of course, uh, Craig Kunamoto, amazing IT staff. Thank you, Craig, for everything. Uh, on Wi-Fi, we now have EduRome. We used to have an old Wi-Fi. We still do. You, some of you probably remember the password was visible for 20 years. Uh, we finally decided to maybe upgrade security. We have a code of conduct here uh, in terms of how we function at the Institute. Uh, it's outside on the outside the doors. It's also in your package. But the, the major thing that we want to stress here is time for discussion. And so as part of the program, but also the conference, the session chairs are really are the ones who will be working to make that happen. And that time for discussion is really key to the Institute and how we function. So please do respect, as a speaker, uh, your time to speak. And please do respect the time for discussion. And the session chair will set an example by being certain that people uh, have a chance to ask their questions. And unfortunately, in this room, we need to be using the microphone so that everything can go on to Zoom, because we do have people out there. But also, everything here at the Institute is recorded. So all talks are recorded. The discussions are recorded, typically available by the end of the day. Um, if any of the speakers have something they don't want to be put online, please alert Alina. You probably have received something from Alina already with instructions. But if you're showing a result that you don't want out there, uh, in the end, please let us know. I think that's. Probably the only other main important thing is food. So all of the breaks, for those of you who have been here before and lunches, are in the courtyard. Uh, you do need to wear your name tag because there's also another program here at the Institute right now uh, on in geophysics, uh, multi-phase material, geophysics and atmospheric physics. Uh, they just had their conference two weeks ago, so they know how good the food is. So please wear your name tags. We'll let you in and not them. Uh, also, if you get locked out of the building, 
Uh, the building does get locked at four, so if you go for a walk and get locked out, that's back through the back courtyard is the easiest way to get back in uh, should you get locked out, but you, that shouldn't be an issue. Dinners are Tuesday and Wednesday, and I think I'm going to hand this over to Boris. Hey, good morning, everybody, and um, great to see you all here. And great to see Maurizio ready. Um, before we start with the conference, I would just like to have a minute to just say a few words. Um, so um, most of you probably heard about this, but last week Tom Marr's body has been found after he had been missing for um, almost two months at La Silla. And I mean, he's been kind of inspirational figure for all our community and kind of many of you, most of you probably have worked with him and exchanged emails and have some memories. And kind of in 2002, he set up the astronomy group at Warwick and he spent an enormous amount of effort of growing that group um, and also maintaining always an eye on having an atmosphere that is inspirational and warm and friendly among the colleagues. And when we planned this program for 21 originally, he, was, um, he wanted to participate here and he was very much looking forward to these eight weeks at KITP. So I would suggest that we just spend these four days with Tom in mind and have the discussions that he would have very much enjoyed and um, all of you cherish the memories that you have of him. And then with that, I tender over to Maurizio. And Maurizio, you have 20 minutes for your talk. <laughs> 